I painted this yesterday. Just wanted to show you. Okay. All right, so in this video, I would like to share what is the most important thing in life. I personally, my religion is joy. My religion is happiness. I am on the path of joy and what I realized is on the path of joy everything is in joy. It's just impossible that the process of getting to the destination is not joyful when you are on the path of joy. You know, have you ever set out your goals and start working really hard to accomplish them and during this process you become drained and become tired because you struggle a lot so you, you're fighting for getting the results working really hard striving i know it's pretty common and i've been in this position and i've been trying to figure out what is wrong with it because when i accomplish something surely it gave me a sense of fulfillment but that was rather pretty transient, fleeting, and I've been wanting to find more substantial, uninterrupted sense of happiness. And I'm going to share how you can access to this point. So, in, from, so from astrological perspective, happiness is represented by fourth house and fourth sign, which is Cancer. The fourth house is one of the most private area of your life. And at the opposite side of it is the 10th house, which is known for your career, public image, recognition, social status, etc. Everything that is known displayed in public. In our society, as of 2020, I guess, most people are driven and being encouraged to make accomplishment in the 10th house area which has to do with career and impressing others gaining respect from others but 10th house really is about your so to speak karmic duties this does not necessarily give you happiness happiness is ruled by the fourth house the opposite house. So if you truly want to be happy, you need to really honor your feelings, your inner self, your inner child. You need to take care of your home, your family, both on literal and figurative ones. If you want to be happy, you just need to make happiness unconditional. Number one, stop placing conditions on your happiness are you placing conditions on your happiness when you accomplish a b and c you're gonna feel better about yourself and therefore these things are going to bring you happiness do you buy into this kind of logic if then you are kind of like distancing away from emotional fulfillment by placing these conditions and as time goes by you may or may not placing extra conditions on your happiness thus pushing further back from your personal fulfillment if you got into this cycle then you're keeping this distance forever so happiness is always somewhere out there it's not something that you're enjoying at this moment. And when you accomplish one of those things that you set out, you're going to feel fulfilled. But because you bought into this mental cycle, sooner or later, you're going to place another conditions onto your happiness. If you keep living in this way, you're going to feel fulfilled only in a very limited period of time 
Yes, you may impress a lot of people by pursuing your external goal, accomplishments, the 10 past matters, your public image, gaining respect and social validation, but that is separate from your emotional fulfillment because they are in the different sides of the spectrum, the fourth house and the 10th house axis. So if you want to be happy, you just need to be happy right now with no condition, with no strings attached, just feel happy. If I have kids and if there's only one thing that I can teach my kids, I'm going to teach them how to change how they feel because emotion is really everything. The fourth house, Cancer, represents emotion. Emotion is energy in motion, and the entire universe is made of energy. And you have full control over how you react emotionally. It's not even reaction, actually. You are creating your emotional action. Of course, due to some pre-programmed habits, you can get triggered and you can feel low and down which is perfectly okay because all these lower types of emotions are equally valuable as the higher form of emotion like excitement, joy, love. So if you want to be happy, practice feeling good about yourself. Like anything, your ability to feel good about yourself just requires some practice until you get the hang of it until you get familiar with it. Most people, most parents or teachers, caregivers do not know how to feel fulfilled, how to stay positive. Of course, there's an exception, but most people are programmed in this way. And the chances your parents, teachers and colleagues, peers, friends would pick up from those people. So unless you change how you react, you're not going to change your reality. You're not going to change your life. So remember that on the path of joy, it is just impossible to feel less of joy. If you chose to be on the path of joy and you're not feeling excited, then there are two things. One, your goal, your original goal may not be a accurate representation of joy you may need to adjust your goals second your goals may be representation of joy but the way you accomplish them may be something wrong so you need to change the method the way you pursue more of joy Just remember that you don't need any validation from others to be happy. You don't need to be qualified to feel happiness. You don't need to feel guilty for being happy whatsoever because everyone is living their own life and even if you are relatively in a privileged position compared to some people, you don't need to feel bad about it because they are learning their own lessons and you are living your own life, you're learning some other lessons, and if you feel resonating, you can help someone underprivileged compared to you. Because life is infinite. When you start comparing yourself with others, there is no end. There are always going to be someone who are more privileged than you and more underprivileged than you. So this kind of comparison mentality can put you in a suffering position. So stop suffering and just claim your happiness. Just feel good. Just follow what makes you feel uplifted. Even if it's a very trivial things like drinking a cup of tea or watching a soap opera whatever that is, playing a game, where until you feel uplifted. And here's a trick. When you start taking an action, 
out of joy and you no longer feeling excited anymore that is the time that you need to stop doing it and start pursuing what brings you joy again because everything is changing shifting your vibration changes just because you chose to do something in the first place this does not mean that you need to keep doing it forever right and whatever you keep thinking grows whatever you keep dreaming becomes reality whatever you focus grows if you don't buy it you can give it a try and you can prove it one last thing that i want to share is it is so important that once you set out your desire it's important to eliminate conflicting beliefs with regards to this desire so for example you want to start a business that is your desire but then you start thinking oh my field my industry is very competitive it's not going to be easy to break into well that is conflicting belief so when you have this kind of two different incompatible ideas those two beliefs are going to fight each other and whatever that you feed more is going to win so if there is something that you desire just keep growing the seeds of desire and eliminate all the weeds in that way you can expedite the process of making your dreams come true and remember you are the only person who is stopping you from getting what you want in order to live in your dream life it's actually um, you don't have to do more of things you just need to keep eliminating that is not serving you it's it's really about doing less and accomplishing more when things are feeling effortful that represents that you are having a resistant resistance and resistance is a negative beliefs whatever belief that makes you feel down and low stressed is a negative belief draining your energy down meaning that it's not going to help you find joy so if there's one thing that you want to focus on just keep focusing on that and forget about contradicting beliefs about that desire so this is what i wanted to share and hopefully this is helpful for you and check out my new book stellar wisdom of rising signs if you're into astrology you're gonna be able to learn about detailed analysis of your rising signs more details are gonna be below in the description check it out and leave a comment below feel free to share your feedback about my sharing i would love to read your comments so yeah i hope you have a great day let me know if you're one of those people who want to be on the path of joy because more people are going to be bringing more joy have a great day bye